Hi everyone, it's Jess from Nose in a Book and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the Witty the Pooh book tag. This was created by Inspiring Adria back in 2014 and I don't think she creates videos anymore, but I will go ahead and link her original video down below so that you can check it out and see all of her questions and everything. Um, but I was inspired to do this tag because I went to Barnes Noble and I happened to see this. Look at how pretty it is. So this is the complete Tales of Winnie the Pooh and it's just so lovely. It's just that beautiful Barnes & Noble bind-up edition. I have a couple of other books in this edition but this is bigger than the other ones because it's like that big kind of children's book feel. Um, but it's got, if you see on the back of it, oh, look at that. It's just so precious. Uh, and it has the original illustrations by E.H. Shepard on it so I really really love it. Even the inside like look at this map of the Hundred Acre Wood. Uh, so anyways, needless to say, I was like, I wonder if anyone's done a Winnie the Pooh book tag. And I found someone, but as far as I could see, she's the only one who's done the tag. So I'm going to keep the tag going. I'm going to keep the tag moving. So we're going to do the Winnie the Pooh book tag. Um, and this tag basically is a whole bunch of bookish questions inspired by the characters of Winnie the Pooh. So let's get right into the questions. So the first question is to name your favorite quote, and this can be either from the book or from one of the movies or the television shows or anything like that. And my favorite Winnie the Pooh memory as a kid was watching Pooh's Grand Adventure. I don't know how many of you have seen it, and I need to get like a copy on DVD. I still have a VHS at my mom's that I sometimes watch for, yeah. Um, but anyways, so Pooh's Grand Adventure and Christopher Robin is going to school and he tells Pooh that he has to go and he won't be there to play the next day and um, Pooh doesn't really understand of course it's Pooh and so he tells him this thing if you get worried about me or if you wonder you know how you're gonna make it through he says you're braver than you believe smarter than you think and stronger than you seem and I just love that quote it's just oh and I see it lots of places and I don't know that everyone who's like posting it knows what it's from but I just love it so much and it has stuck with me from childhood I just love that question number two is based off of Christopher Robin who is like the leader of all of them who might I'm, I'm telling you who Christopher Robin is you all know who Christopher Robin is anyways so it was to pick a character who's like a leader or the one who's everyone's is the fall follow, is following you know um, so anyways for this one I had to go with Gansey from the Raven cycle um, I have yet to read blue Lily, Lily, blue I have this one out from the library but it's the only one I had in my hand um, but Gansey uh, Gansey is full-on like everyone will follow him and he doesn't even do it on purpose necessarily it's just like in his character um, and I love that about him I think that just makes him stand out on the page and um, just that like an inspiring quality that makes people want to follow him I just really like that so Gansey Question number two was inspired by Winnie the Pooh himself, and this one is a character who is either or all three of these things, um, either eats a lot of food, not quite so bright, or cuddly like a teddy bear. And it could be all three of those things, or just with one of them, but for this one I felt like I kind of nailed it with all three of them, and that is... Ron Weasley from Harry Potter and I only would say I don't necessarily think Ron's not bright I just feel like that he doesn't care about like bookish things and so that's the only reason like he's kind of like your jock who likes to eat a lot of food <laughs> and I think he's pretty cuddly he's my favorite so I love him very much um but yeah Ron Weasley I promise I won't choose all Harry Potter characters for this time Question number four is inspired by Piglet, and this is someone who is timid and or generous. So I had a really hard time with Piglet. I couldn't think of someone who was timid and generous, and I feel like if I just do generous or just timid, I feel like we're missing an aspect of Piglet. And so um, I went ahead and picked Samwise Gamgee from The Lord of the Rings. Um, and to be completely honest, I haven't read all of The Lord of the Rings. I started reading these like forever ago back in... Um, eighth grade 
first couple years of high school and I just couldn't get past the writing style at that age and so this is actually on my TBR right now to try to get back into. I've read The Hobbit a million times I love it um, but for some reason I just couldn't get past the writing style of this one so I plan on reading it but Samwise Gamgee is the one who really stood out to me. He was so generous and giving and also he starts out really timid and that's why I really like his character arc as he um, becomes kind of Frodo's backbone um, and I just really love that so Samwise. Next we have the question inspired by your and this one was a character who's sad all the time and I couldn't think of a better character to pick for this than Anne Elliot from Persuasion. So I'm a huge Jane Austen fan if you hadn't noticed in like some of my other introduction -y videos but Anne Elliot, if you haven't read Persuasion, this is a very short one, it's probably her shortest completed novel and it is very depressing like the entire time because Anne Elliot has she was engaged or almost engaged to this naval officer who was going off to be in the Navy to get his fortune in the Navy and her family basically persuaded her to reject him and so she has regretted this forever and now he's back and she knows that there can never be anything between them um, and so she is very very sad like this whole time um, and so that that sadness is not really lifted until the very end of the book so sh I would say that counts so question number six is inspired by rabbit and it is a character who is a dictator or control freak and this doesn't have to be um, it was specified doesn't have to be someone who's evil just like a dictator type personality who's like this is how it's going down and so the character that I chose for this one is Artemis from Artemis Fowl. Um, if you've read this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. He is, I think, 13 years old, and he is a total dictator. I mean, he, yeah, it is Artemis Fowl, hands down. He is, and he's not even the bad guy. I mean, he's kind of the bad guy. It's like the, you know, anti-hero of this story, but he is oh, hilarious, and I love his genius dictatory mind. Yeah. Okay, so the next question was based off of Owl, and this one was a character who loves to tell stories, even when nobody really wants to hear them. And the only character I could kind of think for this one, it wasn't really storytelling, but talking a lot, and nobody was, nobody cared about what he was talking about. And actually, it took me a long time to think of this one, my roommate, because I was talking to her, and she was like, character and I was like oh my gosh you're totally right why didn't I think of that I'm too close to the forest to see the trees but anyways this character is from a book that I recently reread on audiobook Pride and Prejudice and that character is if you can't already guess you probably haven't read Pride and Prejudice Mr. Collins Mr. Collins is the comic relief character who talks way too much and always wants to talk about Lady Catherine and her house and his house and how lucky he is to have her as a patroness He's definitely that character who nobody wants to hear what he has to say, but he's going to say it anyways. Next, this question, inspired by Kanga, is name your favorite motherly figure in a novel. And I'm sorry I'm reusing a series twice, but Mrs. Weasley. How could I go with anyone besides Mrs. Weasley? I'm, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I was like, mothers, who would be a good... Mrs. Weasley, it just it has to be her. She is the most amazing badass mom in the world. I love all of the scenes with her in the movie, in the book. I mean, she's just amazing. And uh, Mrs. Weasley, please be my mom. I want to be a Weasley. Next, this question was inspired by Rue, and it is a young, optimistic character. And I thought immediately of Anne from Anne of Green Gables. She is your ultimate optimist. Everything in her life has gone wrong. She is orphaned, she's been passed from one family to another family, basically just being their slave, taking care of their other children. And when she finally gets to go to Matthew and Marilla's house, she's just convinced that they're going to send her back, but she's so hopeful that maybe they'll want to keep her, and even if not, she had the most beautiful time of her life. She's just so optimistic, and just uh, amazing, and fiery, and awesome. So she has some aspects, I would say, not necessarily our roots aspects, but she's just got that fierce optimism that everything is going to be fine and she's going to make it through and she's got her little beautiful imagination to get her through these things. And last, but certainly not least, my favorite character from all of the Winnie the Pooh stories and this would be Tigger. And this one, I usually relate Tigger to like 
optimism, but that's what they use, what she used for Rue. And I usually relate him to like over energy and like kind of annoying, but to like awesome <laughs> in an awesome way. Um, but Tigger, um, she kind of put Tigger as a daredevil, which I think I can totally see too, because he's kind of like always doing stuff that's dangerous and bouncing everywhere where he probably shouldn't and falling into stuff and hurting himself and all those types of things. Um, but I also wanted to kind of include some of my takes on Tigger. So I went with the daredevil, but I also wanted to include like, he likes to say he knows stuff that he doesn't know and pretends he does, or he likes to be, like he likes to have fun. That's all Tigger wants. He just wants to have fun. And so for me, I had to go with Peter from Peter Pan. I just felt like he fit the role so much. He's a little bit more of a control freak, I feel like, than, Pete, than Tigger is, but he's got that, I just want to be a boy, I just want to have fun, I just want to do all these things that I probably shouldn't do, <laughs> and so he's got that daredevil aspect, fighting pirates and all of that swashbuckling that he does, um, but he is just that type of character to me, so Peter Pan for sure. So that is it for the questions, and now I'm actually going to tag some people. So I'm going to tag Katrina from The Little Book Owl, Roy E from Roy E Reads, Sam from Sam the Book Dragon, Katie from Katie's Book Nook, Kate from Kate's Book Date, and Amber from Amber Eats Books. So I hope you all enjoyed this tag, and if you would like to do this, I also tag you. Thank you all so much for watching, and I appreciate all of you so much. I have had just the best experience on BookTube. I knew it was a great community from watching, but it's just been so wonderful to meet new people and to talk to you all in the comments and to geek out over bookish things, and I'm just so grateful to be a part of this. So thank you all so much for watching and for subscribing and liking and all those things that you do. Um, you guys are the best. So. And that is it for the Winnie the Pooh book tag. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the comments. Bye!